This one is from Karam. The title of the question is XP Admin Account. The question is Old Dell 510 XP Administrator Account. I deleted my admin account by mistake. It was called User and it had no password. It was just part of an old network computer in the first life. I used a USB boot to remove all the passwords. Managed to create a user account in safe mode and now am unable to have access to admin. I have user access only. I tried many YouTube hacks, but uh, it didn't work. And then uh, it says, how do I gain access as admin on this machine? Okay, Karam, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a permission problem, and this can happen on machines that you change the user account name if you created a file originally in one account name and then try to access it in another name um, oftentimes you can only read the file and sometimes you can't even do that and a lot of times you can't write back to it so what we need to do is actually change the permission of the file and luckily you can do this pretty easy now I'm going to show you this on a Windows 7 machine, but it's very similar for XP. It might just look a little different, but uh, follow along appropriately. So I'm in my hard drive here. This is my local C. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the administrator account. And you can see all my data is in here for my administrator account. So let's go back and say that the files are located in this administrator account that I want to use and change the ownership for, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the administrator account and I'm gonna to go to properties. Then I'm gonna click on the security tab here at the top and then I'm gonna click on this advanced tab for the permissions, okay? So this gives me a window of the permissions and what's allowed and what's not. And you can see the Windows 7 user, the one right here, has full control and as the administrator. And then the regular users of the Windows 7 have read and execute, but you notice write's not in there. So if I were a user, um, some of these files, I wouldn't be able to rewrite. And that's what I'm going to show you how to change ownership. So what you can do is just click this change permissions. So I can choose the user that I wish to have ownership of it, which would be the user one here. And then make sure that you click this button here to add permissions for the object's parents. That would mean, you know, it'll drill down and go through subfolders. And then click the OK button and it will do its thing. And then you'll probably have to restart, log on as that person and your permissions will be changed. And you can do this for your entire C drive or just parts of it, depending on how you got it laid out. So thanks for the question. Hope this helps you. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.